so we have a sub-zero refrigerator model number 561 and the condenser fan is not running and you can see how hot it got usually condenser fan when it's not running you will see in between the doors it's too warm so here it got so hot that uh, you can see the gasket there brown actually the gasket turned brown and for this side too and at one point it got so hot that it actually cracked the plastic you can see the cracked plastic right there so what we can do we last few days ago I came I replaced the condenser because 120 was coming to this line so what I did I disconnected it and the way I have to do it disconnected it's condenser fan motor and I checked it it was 120 was coming to these two wires and uh, after replacing the fan I connected it and it did not work I was like, oh, why it's not working? I looked at the schematic, which in a second I will show it to you. The wires, they are going to relay. So I tracked the red wire. Actually, you can see it right here. You don't have to be smart and look at the wiring diagram. So this is the coming wire. So I checked 120 is coming to it, but it's not going out. So what we're going to do today is replacing that relay, which 15 years working with sub zeros, I never had the chance to replace this relay and today is the day so if you look at the schematic if you look at the schematic i'm gonna turn off this one so you can see you can see the where is the condenser fan motor you can see right there condenser fan motor track it it goes to neutral which is a white line and the relay is right here red so i checked red and here is 120 so from this side 120 the black is coming to it but 120 is not going so we're gonna today replace this flat one more thing before I move uh, forward with the replacement of the relay every time I have this kind of situation I ask customer for the fan so extra fan you need to put it in order to cool down the coil which is gonna cool down compressors eventually if you don't want to get a shorter compressor or shorter relay for the compressor or damage any other part and it's gonna run way less so I asked customer and it's working perfect now after she put the fan it's cooling down temperature for the compressors they are perfect they are not super hot which I could not even get close to them right now everything is working fine so how we do replace the relay it's super easy First, don't forget to disconnect the fridge. We disconnected the fridge now. There is no power. So let's disconnect the fan too. So now there is no extra noise here. Okay, we'll continue where we left off get the shorter screwdriver it's gonna be easier I was fighting a minute and then I decided to get the shorter one exactly the same has five connection five wires you don't have to be like anybody can do this repair so two wires one by one
Now this screw is stuck, so till I disconnected it, I'm gonna check the numbers now. They have a number here, one, three, six, five, four. So if it's in the right condition, perfect. Nothing has to be changed, wires they go where they belong. Okay, after removing the screw, We'll use it to tighten up the new one and now we're gonna connect the refrigerator. Let's first connect the fan and plug in the fridge. Here we go, the fan is running perfectly. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna check the old fan if it's running. So we have to make sure if it's running the old part. Okay, I would not recommend to do it while it's plugged. And it's not running at all. So the fan is shorted. Yep, you can see it. It's quiet. So we're gonna remove it. Put the new fan. Here we go, the new fan is running. So both are shorted. It's condenser fan motor with the relay. Both has to be replaced in this case. Again, for 15 years I never had the chance to replace the relay, but apparently they backfired or I'm not sure what happened here. So we had to replace both. Next video I will show how to replace the condenser fan motor.